Okay, so let's go the opposite direction. We just took a look at uh, converting from um, from decimal to binary. Now let's take a look at converting from binary to decimal. To convert from binary to decimal, the first thing we have to recall is that it's important to understand the concept of weight associated with each digit position. And it's something by now, you know, that it's, it's second nature to you. you. You probably don't even think about it. So let's just take a look at it as a refresher and dissect it a little bit. First, as an analogy, recall that the weight of numbers in the base 10 system can be seen in this quick, um, this quick view of a number that we've dissected into its powers of 10. Well, by the same token, we will do the same thing with the uh, each digit position as it's associated with base 2. So let's take a look at the, uh, the base 10. We've got a number here, fairly large number, 740,683 in base 10. So if we take it apart by each of its exponential values or powers of 10, 10 to the 0, 10 to the first power, 10 to the second power, 10 to the third power, 10 to the fourth, and finally 10 to the fifth, we can see we get the even values for each of those exponents. And since 10 to the zero, starting with the least significant digit, uh, is, is, is one, 10 times uh, 10 to the zero power, any number to the zero power is one. So we have three times 10 to the zero, or three times one, which gives us our least significant digit of 3. Then we move up to the next power of 10, 10 to the first power, which is just 10. So 8 times 10 gives us 80. Now we progress to the third significant digit, 6 times 10 squared. Well, that's just 100 times 6, so we've got 600. There's nothing in the next significant place, the thousands place, 10 to the third, so that one becomes zero when we take the product. The next digit, the four times 10 to the fourth value, the 10 thousandths value, four times 10,000 gives us 40,000. And then finally, the largest or most significant digit, seven times 10 to the fifth, 10 to the fifth being the 100 thousandths, seven times 100 thousandths, then giving us 700 thousand. So now it's just a matter of adding, again, all of those tens units back together, and we're back to our original number, 740,683. Pretty simple stuff, second nature to you, but it's worth reviewing. So let's look at converting then from a binary value to a decimal value, applying that same rationale, those powers uh, associated with the number. In this case, instead of a power of 10, we're going to look at a power of 2. Same powers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, but the representation then becomes a little different. So each digit position of a number in base 2 then also has the weight associated with it. Knowing the weight of each binary digit or bit in the binary number makes it simple then to add them together and get its decimal equivalent as we will see um, in an example here. So if we take this and take a look at it, dissect it the same way, 110101 base 2, and take it apart by each of its powers of 2. We have 1 times 10 to the 0 units. We have no uh, values in the next um, significant bit, 2 times, or 2 to the first power. We have a 1 in the 2 squared place. We have nothing in the 2 to the third place. And we have 1s in both the 2 to the fourth and 2 to the fifth place. So now it's just a matter of calculating these values. We know 2 to the 0 is 1, 2 to the first power is 2, 2 to the second power is 4, 8, 16, and 32. So if we have a 1 there, then we have a multiplier that will give us our values back in decimal. If we have a 0, we just have a 0. So 1 times 1 gives us a decimal 1. 0 times 2 gives us a decimal 0. 1 times 4 gives us a decimal 4. 0 times four, 8 
gives us a zero and then 1 times 16 and 1 times 32 giving us 16 and 32. So all we have to do then again in the column, the decimal column, add those numbers back together 1 plus 4 plus 16 plus 32 we have the decimal equivalent of in the binary column 110101 in binary and therefore we have the number in base 10 or decimal of 53. So let's take a look at another example here. Again, knowing the weight of each bit in a binary number, making it simple to add them together to get the decimal equivalent. We're going to convert 11001 base 2 to its decimal equivalent. So if we look at each of the weighted um, values, we have a weight of 16, a weight of 8, a weight of 4, a weight of 2, and 1. But the digits in those uh, columns 11001 will give us our multipliers. So 1 times 16 is 16. 1 times 8 gives us an 8. 0 times 4 gives us a 4. And 0 times 2 gives us a 2. And then the last digit we have a 2 to the 0 or 1. So we end up with a 1. So again, now in the horizontal, 16 plus 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 gives us a decimal equivalent of 25. Now using the concept of weight to convert 39 to binary. Same process. Take a look at it. We've got a value of 39. Recall when we did the last video we said well all we have to do is divide through by 2 and we'll come up with each of the weighted associated positions. So 32 divided by 2 gives us 30 or 39 divided by 2 gives us 32 we have a leftover of 1. We divide through 2, 32 into 16 we have no remainder so we have 0. Divide it again 2 into 8 we have 0 no remainder. 2 goes into 4 twice so we end up with a value of uh, a 4 and then 2 into 2 gives us 1 and then finally 1 and 1. So when we go through then like we did before on the horizontal 32 plus 0 plus 0 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 gives us a decimal of 39. So we just use that what we used um, in the first example by dividing through by 2 and accounting for remainders or no remainders and that ended up giving us our decimal to binary conversion. Okay, 100111 is the converted number.